Hi, my name is Mike Coleman. I'm a developer advocate on the LightSail team here at Amazon Web Services. And today I'm going to take you through a video that shows you some of the capabilities of Amazon LightSail. But before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that you don't have to try to do everything at the same time that I'm doing it on the screen. We've got a written guide in the description below that you can go and download. And then after the video, you can go try it all on your own. So let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a LAMP stack application on Amazon LightSail. A LAMP stack application is an application that's built using Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And we're going to use an instance on LightSail that has all of those components already installed. So let's go ahead and click Create Instance. And we'll come in here, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick where to run our instance. So I'm going to click on this link, and I'm going to choose Oregon because that's where I am. But there's regions all over the globe, so you should pick one that's close to you or your customers. So Oregon selected. Next, I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to choose a blueprint. Now, I'm going to use this lamp blueprint here. And as I said before in the intro, the LAMP blueprint already has Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP pre-installed. So all I need to do is add my code. So with that done, I'm going to come down and I'm going to use a launch script to add my code. Now I'm going to place this script in here. And what's going to happen is this script is going to run the first time the instance boots up. And what it does is it starts off by deleting the default website. So when you have a LAMP stack application, the Apache server has a website already that says welcome to Apache. So we're going to delete that so we can have our own website. So that's what that command does. Then I'm going to use git to clone in my application out of my GitHub repo. I'm going to then go in. There's a connection values file that has some default values. We're going to set the ownership on that. We're going to copy in the password into the configuration file, and then we're going to create our database. This is a pretty standard installation script. It's the same sort of script you'd run on a virtual machine or a physical server. There's nothing special about it because it's on LightSail. It's just a set of steps that we need to go through to install our application. So with that done, we'll come down here. Um, I'm going to set my machine to back up automatically. So I'll click this button here and we'll say, let's back up every day at one o'clock um, co coordinated universal time. I'm actually in the Pacific time zone. So I'll change that and then it'll be six o'clock Pacific daylight time. Come down, pick our instance size. So I'm going to use a $5 instance and the price of the instance is determined by the amount of CPU, the amount of RAM, the amount of disk space and the amount of data transfer that an instance has. This should be fine for applications. So let's go ahead and use the $5 instance. The next thing we do is we're going to name our instance. So I'll come down here and I'm just going to give it the name to do because the application I'm deploying is a to do list application. And the last thing we need to do here is we need to add a tag. Well, we don't have to, it's an option. And I'm going to go ahead and add a tag here to identify this as the to do application. And what this means is later I can sort and filter and organize my resources based on these tags. So I could say, well, show me all my databases, all my load balancers, all of my instances that are related to this app. So we'll just type app to do, we'll click create instance and the instance will go off and get created. So let's give that a second and we'll come back when the instance is running. So the application is now running. We can see that by looking at the status here. I'm going to grab the IP address of my instance and I'm going to go ahead and go to that in my web browser. So here's our simple to do application. It's a PHP application running on the Apache web server. If we go up here and we look at front end host, you can see that's the internal IP address of the LightCell instance. And if we look at database host, that's set to local host. That's because the database is running on the same server as the web server and the PHP engine. So all of that's running together on one LightCell instance. So that's how you install a LAMP stack application on Amazon LightCell. If you'd like to get more information on Amazon LightCell, go ahead and visit aws.amazon.com slash LightSale.